Monday's Guardian, Simon, and uh, a counter-terrorism report needed more terrorists. Oddly. Well, this is one of these arguments. So, the government, there's a thing called prevent. And prevent, as its name would suggest, is supposed to prevent terrorism. So what they do is mm. that they've set up a series of things where they observe, they watch, they try and spot the things that will turn into violence. And there's this kind of ridiculous argument where one group of people go, oh, no, no, it's far-right, far-right violence. That's what's really, really bad. Far-right violence is really bad. And there's another group of people who go, no, 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 it's Islamist violence. That's really, really bad. And you think, actually, they're both bad. And what you find in this thing is when you read the stories is they've got... The, there's a kind of double standard because when it comes to looking at the far-right stuff, the accusation is that it includes far too broad a range of people. So mm -hmm. there's all sorts of populist right people who don't actually argue for violence. They're just to be unpleasant. But when it comes to looking at the, uh, at careful, the sort of careful. The Islamist this is, this one... This is our listeners well, and when viewers. It, well, I, I'm, I'm me. And Lewis. I'm me. And me. I'm me. But when it comes to looking at Islamist violence, they only look at that very, very narrow kind of jihadist. That's the argument, right? So the argument is that the, the net is far fallen too, too wide on the right. So Shawcross, the government commissions this guy to do the report, he does the report and he says, actually, we need to concentrate more on the Islamist violence than we do on the far right violence. So then, of course, you know, then it becomes another big, a sensible conversation saying, well, why don't we concentrate on both? And why don't we have an argument about and a definition about what we're trying to prevent here? And then why don't we try and find out what causes it? The, of course, what happens is the Daily Mail and one lot take this position, the Guardian takes the other position. It's jolly annoying and I don't want to be blown up. So I'd rather be they did better. Simon, you're trying to be sensible. You're just never going to catch on. You're well, a for. good conversation about not blowing us up would be a really healthy mm. thing to do. I'm scared, but I'm going to say it. Lewis, your thoughts on blowing things up? <laughs> well, some things need to be blown up, but uh, wasn't, uh, didn't, they, didn't the other st uh, article talk about Andrew Tate's role in this, in the well, prevent? That's later on in the... Uh, in the program. The, well, in, yeah, I believe that's on the, the subject of pornography. I think. <gasps> OK, well, they, had, they included in that, which we will well, discuss that's, later. But that's the argument, is that they're including people. I mean, distasteful and disgusting and horrible as Andrew Tate might be. And if I'm not saying anything. Well, I'm not saying anything. I'm that. saying that, but the point is he's not, as far as I know, actually saying that people should go out and bomb or whatever, whereas actually there are people on the right and on the jihadist right saying that they should. So that, that, that's what right. they should do. 